Where is Bobby? He's very late. Oh, hello everyone. You haven't seen Bobby the bus anywhere, have you? Bobby was supposed to be taking us back to the garage half an hour ago. But there's no sign of him. <laughs> it's so cold today. And Blue Mechanical forgot to bring his hat, scarf and mittens. Oh no, there's Bobby. It looks like he's stuck in the snow. He can't get out of that snow drift and he looks very cold. That can't be good for his batteries. Just like us, Bobby the bus doesn't feel very well if he's too hot or too cold. His batteries work best when they are warm. Bobby's batteries can't give his wheels enough power when it's as cold as this and his wheels don't have enough grip on the icy road. We need to help him right away. Come in, Tilly. I'm sending you Bobby's location now. Please can you come and rescue him from a snow drift? Make sure you put your snow chains on your tyres. The weather is terrible out here. Here comes trusty Tilly to ease poor Bobby's pains with her super grippy tyres and sturdy snow chains. She's so strong and steady, she doesn't make a fuss, even when she's towing a big electric bus. I don't think Blue Mechanical's feeling very well either. Hello Tilly, are we glad to see you. Let's head back to the garage to warm up. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Bobby turn. Poor Bobby's wheels were really stuck. He couldn't make them go. And his batteries don't work so well under all that ice and snow. Now Tilly's brought him back here out of the winter storm. We need those kind mechanicals to make poor Bobby warm. Go, go, Mechanicals! I don't think that little hairdryer will melt this cold snow shower. I think we need something with a little bit more power. That heater's more like it. He'll soon be warm and dried. But how can we keep Bobby's batteries warm? when he's back outside. Ah, when we go out into the cold, we wear a winter hat. So they're knitting one for Bobby. Why didn't I think of that? Bobby can stay with us for now to keep warm overnight. He can go out in the morning as soon as it gets light. Good old Trevor the tractor. He's spending the evening clearing the snow from the roads with his snow plough. The snow is melting. Trevor has helped to clear the roads. And Bobby has his new hat to keep him warm. He's off to do his job and pick up some passengers. I'm glad we could get Bobby warm again. Remember to always wear your coat, hat and gloves when you go outside in the winter just like me and the Mechanicals. Hang on a minute. What happened to poor old Blue Mechanical? Ah, there he is. Phew! Bye! Hello everyone! Bobby the Bus is visiting the garage today. He needs a wash, again! He gets very mucky. Bobby needs cleaning in the morning. Bobby needs cleaning in the afternoon. Bobby even needs cleaning at night time. Every morning, Bobby has to refuel with dirty diesel to power his engine. <coughs> 
Ew! Bobby's fuel smells terrible. It's so dirty. <coughs> Here comes Evie, the electric car. She doesn't have any problems with dirty diesel. She's lovely. Bobby wishes he could be as quiet and clean as Evie. Evie charges up her batteries using clean energy from the sun. Hmm, I wonder. Hey Bobby, how would you like to get rid of your dirty old diesel engine and run on clean electricity instead? It's a big job, but I think the mechanicals are up for it. Let's get you into the garage and get started. Drive onto the platform and let's see what we can see. What do we need to do to make you run electrically? Go, go mechanicals! The mechs take Bobby's engine out. Fit motors to his wheels. Install a brand new charging port. There! Let's see how that feels. Oh no! Bobby's wheels won't go. Now what have we done wrong? Of course! He needs some batteries to power him along. Energy from the sun goes into the solar panels on the garage roof. That energy travels through our charger into the batteries on an electric vehicle like Evie. Evie stores the energy in her batteries and that powers the motors in her wheels. It takes a lot of energy to power a bus, so Bobby's new batteries are very big and very heavy. Where should the mechanicals put the batteries, I wonder? How about at the back, where we took the old engine out? There's lots of room there. Oh dear, that's no good. The batteries are too heavy to all go at the back of the bus. Bobby's done a wheelie. How about we spread them out? Inside Bobby. The mechanicals might need to clear a bit of space first though. Um, mechanicals. I know you needed to make space for the batteries, but I didn't mean take all the seats out. Where are the passengers going to sit now? On the roof? Hold on a minute. On. The. Roof. Of course. Put those seats back in. I've had an idea. The best place for the batteries is up on the roof. Bobby stays balanced. There's still room for all his passengers inside. And the air going over the roof helps to keep the batteries cool and working properly. Let's install a cover over the batteries to protect them from bad weather. Perfect! Now Bobby's ready to roll. Let's get those batteries fully charged. One percent, two percent, three percent. Hmm, this charger is far too slow. Bobby has a giant battery pack, far bigger than Evie's. We need to make this electric charger into a supercharger. Let's try again. Huh, they don't seem to have made this charger any faster at all. What's going on? Uh-oh, it looks like the mechanicals have supercharged the wrong charger. Blue Mechanicals charger is going crazy. Look at those numbers go. Eek! It looks like Blue Mechanicals got lots of extra energy to use up. Look at him go. Now that Blue Mechanical has helped to supercharge the charger, we should be able to charge Bobby's batteries at record speeds. It's working! Look at those numbers go! 40, 50, 
60, 70, 80, 90, 100 percent. Bobby is fully charged. Well done, Mechanicals. What a fantastic job the Mechanicals have done for Bobby. No more diesel fumes. Bobby's off to pick up his passengers now. They'll be surprised to find out how clean and quiet he is. And I'll see you again next time, here at Gecko's Garage. Bye! Here comes Bobby the bus. He spends his days picking people up and dropping people off all around town. He's a very helpful little bus, but his engine doesn't sound quite right. I'm Gecko, and this is my garage. Here at Gecko's garage, me and the mechanicals fix any vehicle in trouble. Bobby's on his way to my garage because he doesn't feel very well. Here comes Bobby now. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hello, Bobby. Drive onto the turntable so we can take a closer look at you. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Bobby turn. Bobby's wheels. He wouldn't take his passengers very far without these. They go round and round, just like in the Wheels on the Bus song. Bobby's sign. Bobby has a sign that can change to tell passengers where he's going. It helps passengers catch the right bus. Bobby's wipers. These keep his windscreen clear of rain and dirt and bugs. So his driver can see where they're going. Bobby's headlights. Bobby needs powerful lights for driving at night time. They help him see the road and help other vehicles to see him. Bobby's horn. Bobby's horn is very loud. He can sound his horn in an emergency to make sure other vehicles know he's there. Bobby's doors. Bobby has a special set of doors for his passengers so that they can get on and off the bus easily. Bobby's engine. Buses are heavy and need a powerful engine to turn the wheels. Bobby's rear lights. Bobby has red lights at the back so that other vehicles can see him in the dark and also to let them know when he's slowing down to stop. Right, shall we try and work out what's wrong with Bobby? What do you think's wrong with him? It sounds like your fuel tank's nearly empty. Shall we give you a top up? Fill, fill, fill. Let's fill up your tank. For all of this fuel, I'm sure you'll thank. Let's fix that light that was so dim. Full, full, full. Full to the brim. There. All fixed up and ready to go. Have a good day, Bobby. I know a song about Bobby the Bus. It goes something like this. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all day long. Hey! The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all day long. Oh, hey! The doors on the bus go open and close, open and close, open and close. The doors on the bus go open and close all day long. Here we go! The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the 
bus goes beep, beep, beep all day long. Oh ho! The engine on the bus goes brum, 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 brum. The engine on the bus goes brum, brum, brum all day long. Go, Bobby! The lights on the bus, they light the way, light the way, light the way. The lights on the bus, they light the way all day day long. One more time. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. Well done, Bobby. It's been a long day and now it's time for you to rest. Good night. Oscar the bus works with his friend Bobby, carrying passengers around town. Here they come. Wow, Bobby's fast. Oh dear, it looks as if Oscar's having trouble keeping up with Bobby. Oscar is slow. Hello Oscar, you made it at last. Let's take a good look at you. Bobby was big and shiny and new. But Oscar is small and rusty and old. His top deck has no roof, so his passengers get cold and wet in the winter. I know you feel tired and sad, Oscar, but I don't think you're ready to retire yet. Perhaps you just need a new job. Why not let Bobby take all the passengers to work and school? And you could become a summer tour bus showing visitors all the sights and sounds of the town. Let's get the mechanicals to fix you up, give you a fresh coat of paint and get you ready for your new job. Go, go mechanicals! I know you're feeling old and tired, but there's no need to fuss. Visitors to an old, old town would love an old, old bus. You won't need Bobby's sat-nav to find your way around. You've lived right here for 80 years. You know every sight and sound. There'll be time to enjoy the sights because you're slow and steady. And what a view from your top deck. Cameras at the ready. And when each summer's over and the tourists go away, spend the winter at Gecko's Garage. What a cosy place to stay. There we go, Oscar. The mechanicals have fixed you up a treat. You look very smart and I think you're ready to start your new job. And you have your first customers already, the mechanicals. They deserve a fun trip around the town after all their hard work. I hope Oscar and the mechanicals enjoy their tour of the town. Here come our biggest friends. They're going to help us learn to count to ten today. Let's count them. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Can you help me count the trucks whilst they do their important jobs? Oscar the old bus is number one. Slow and steady, but he gets the job done. Larry the lorry is number two. Perhaps he's got a parcel for you. The owner of the fire truck is number three, spraying water on a flaming tree. Celia the cement mixer is number four. She churns and churns and churns some more. Five is Dylan with a heavy load, helping to build this tarmac road. 
Six is Bobby. He's doing fine. Dropping off passengers. Rain or shine. Seven is Helen, with her rotor blades turning. What a long list of numbers we're learning. Giant George is number eight. He's a real heavy weight. Caroline the Crane is number nine, swinging the hook at the end of her line. Rebecca the Recycling Truck is number 10, collecting old things to use again. Are you ready to count them one more time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Ten big trucks. There's a new vehicle in town today. Her name's Evie. She's clean and quiet and speedy. Evie's driven a long way today, so she wants to stop off at Gecko's garage for a rest. Oh dear, what's happened to Evie? She was zooming along. And now she's slowed right down. She must be very tired. You'd better get over to Gecko's garage, Evie. Quickly. Uh, I mean, slowly. Hello, Evie. You seem very slow and sluggish. Hmm. I think you might need refueling. Drive round to our fuel pumps and we'll soon get you sorted out. Right now, let's get you filled up with fuel. Oh, where's your fuel cap? Hmm, that's very strange. I can't see it anywhere. How can we fill up your fuel tank if there's nowhere to put the fuel in? Something seems wrong here. Head into the garage and let's have a good look at you. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Evie turn. Evie looks like a normal car, but where does her fuel go? And no exhaust pipe either. What's wrong? I just don't know. There's something that I'm missing, a nagging little doubt. I'll wake up the mechanicals to check her engine out. Go, go mechanicals! What, what, what's going on? It's empty. Evie, where's your engine? How can you drive around without an engine? Oh, Evie. Oh, E, V. E, V. Electric vehicle. Of course. Evie is an electric car. Instead of a petrol or diesel engine to power the car, Evie has electric motors that drive her wheels and batteries hidden under her seats, which store all of the electricity she needs. That's why she's so quiet. She doesn't have an exhaust pipe belching out nasty fumes or a fuel tank because she fills up with electricity instead. Evie. You need to be plugged in to charge up. We have two regular fuel pumps, but no electric car charging point. We'll have to install one. I'll get Florence the forklift to bring the parts over and we can build one. Well done, Mechanicals. That's looking great. 
the electric charging point is connected to the solar panels on the garage roof that Chelsea the cherry picker helped us to install. Here's the charging cable. Now, where on Evie do we plug it in? Brilliant! Evie has a charging socket hidden in her nose. So now Evie can fill up with clean electricity using energy from the sun. The charging station tells us how full of electricity Evie is. Look at those numbers! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! She's full up! Fantastic! Thanks for visiting us today, Evie! Have a safe journey! Call in and see us whenever you need a top-up. And we'll see you again soon too. Bye! Hello everyone! Are you ready to join me and the Mechanicals for Gecko's Garage ABC? Let's get started! A is for Amber the Ambulance. She'll help if you fall down. B is for Bobby the Brilliant Bus. He'll drive everyone into town. K is for our cool car wash to make our vehicles shiny. D is for Danny the Digger. He digs holes, huge or tiny. E is for everyone's engines that keep their wheels turning. F is for Fiona the fire truck who sprays things when they're burning. G is for our garage where this video starts and ends. Also, G is for me. That's Gecko. Always here to help my friends. H is for noisy honking horns to let you know we're here. I is for icy roads and parts that Trevor the tractor helps to clear. J is for our hydraulic jack, lifting vehicles off the ground. K is for all our vehicles' keys that sometimes can't be found. L is for Larry the lorry, lugging parcels from place to place. M is for Max the Monster Truck, who likes to jump and race. And also for Millie the Motorbike, who really enjoys the chase. N is for new number plates, so that we know who's who. O is the garage oil can, keeps them running good as new. P is for a nice new coat of paint, when scratches are a pain. Q is for queuing at the car wash to clean that mud off again. R is for Rebecca the recycling truck, collecting old things to make into new. S is for Sophie the sports car, sometimes pink, sometimes yellow, or blue. T is for Tony the taxi. He really knows his way around. And Trevor the tractor works down at the farm, digging and seeding the ground. A is for under this mystery sheet. What have those mechanicals found? Yes, V is for Vicky the van, who you might meet next time around. W is for wheels that we change when the old ones wear through. X is for x-ray machine that we use to get a clear internal view. 
Y is for yard, used to test all our vehicles to see if we fix them up right. And Z is for zoom, when they're back to full speed. <laughs>